Hi YouTube, we are on our way to In and Out. In and Out. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Yeah. Uh, we'll see you when we're there. It's kind of hard to vlog in the car. We're in line for In and Out, obviously. I can see the woman, she's on my side. So we're gonna order on my side. We know what we're ordering. Better spot. Welcome to my channel. Please subscribe. Thumbs up. This is Cameron. Um, he was in one of my YouTube videos before. If you watched our Q&A that we did during the pandemic. And we also have a mukbang where we went to Kitchen United and we just tried a bunch of different foods. I'm really hungry. If you're hungry, you should go get in and out and then you can eat with us together in the car. But we're not going to wait for you because I'm starving. And what's your in and out order? We'll leave it down below. Honestly, mine changes so often, so I can't really say, but I'm not in my protein style phase. I'm not about that life anymore. Maybe I will be soon, but let me hold the camera. We're moving. Um, can I do a cheeseburger meal with grilled and raw onions and a pink lemonade? Okay. And extra spread. Spread on the side? Yeah. Okay. On the side. And then we want to do a patty for the dog, please. Okay. Thank and, you. And uh, one double double with animal style fries. Animal style fries. And uh, would you like onions on the burger, sir? Yeah, please. Okay. Do you want to shake? I want to shake as well, yeah. Strawberry? Strawberry shake. Yeah, perfect. You guys have an onion wrapped burger, right? Yeah, since it's a hit trend. Yeah, uh, yeah, can we have one of those as well? Yeah, of course. And uh, we've been this in the car? Yes. Yes. All right. Thank you. I have a cheeseburger, grilled and raw onions, a double double with onions, a flying Dutchman, two times extra mocha, so top and bottom. Uh, me pie no salt for the dog. I have one regular fry, now I'm star fry with pink lemonade and strawberry shake with side of spray. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. Have a good one. Thank you. you. Just ordered our food. Woo -woo. Give me kisses. Like, no. Kiss. Oh, I know. I'm He's teaching uncertain. him to do kiss like that <laughs> because some people don't like giving kisses. They think it's okay. gross. Gotta wait your turn, Piglet. <laughs> Are you crying? He's crying because there's a uh, golden retriever outside. How cute. Now the latest trend is a Flying Dutchman, which is basically a cheeseburger, but it's onion wrapped, which I'm an onion connoisseur. No. Can I fix that? Flying Dutchman means no buns. Yeah, okay, exactly. So that's where why it's onion wrapped. There's no buns. It's no, just... so it's a Flying Dutchman onion wrapped. Okay, so it's a Flying Dutchman, no buns, onion wrapped. Um, that's the newest thing. They have hot cocoa coffee. I've had the hot cocoa during Christmas time just to be festive while I go look at Christmas lights. Can't say that it's good, but will I keep getting it? Absolutely. It's in and out. Real ice cream shakes. The strawberry one is really good. Vanilla and chocolate. And then there's the Neapolitan one where you have all three of them mixed together, which is pretty yummy too. But I like the strawberry. I wouldn't say I'm a strawberry girly, but... I like the strawberry shakes from In-N-Out. They're pretty good. I think I made a mistake. I want all of it. I, I don't want know. Everything. I, don't... I want one of each. And then a gr grilled cheese. That's what I want. We forgot to order the grilled cheese, but it's fine. Technically, you can order again at the next window. You've had the hot cocoa. I have. The, the hot cocoa's really good, right? It's okay. Oh, I literally it's okay. just said on camera. Awesome. Thank you. you so I guess we got little placement mats for the car. Here's an overview. Got some shakes, got some placemats, and some condiments. I have to take off my jacket. It's getting a little hot in here, and I know I'm going to make a mess. Mm. Should we feed Spot his patty? Cute little placemats. Yeah, those are really cute. Can They've never our, given that to us before. Get our oh, wait, let's do our thumbnail on yeah. camera. Hey, Spot. Hey, Spot. Spot, Good are you morning, hungry? Good yeah. morning. Ready for this pup content spot? Should I just let him devour the whole thing or should I give it to him piece by piece? Break it off in half. Give him a half right now. Okay, let's see how much he likes it. A monster. Oh my god. Look at the baby eat. Mm, dude, he's so excited. He's so baby. They did not give us enough napkins, I'll tell you that much. Mm -mm. It's crazy how many people work in in and out right? Like, our location has, like, 20 people just running around back and forth, like, on top of each other. 
They're a well-oiled machine. I know. So this is the onion-wrapped burger. Literally, it looks like a monster. Look it looks like, like a, a mushroom. Pancake. It looks like pancakes. Ooh. Instantly regretting mm -hmm. that I didn't get animal stock. But he did. This tastes very salty. I think that was a mistake, but it's good. It's also a mess. Do you want to try a bite? Yep. All right, take a bite. Yeah, you gotta chew those onion rings. There you go. Thoughts? Comments? It is very salted. I don't know why. It's good though. Thank you. I like it. I would get it again if it wasn't as salty. I'm not sure why that's so salted. Your fries are super salty too. I, I like this a lot, even salty. Are you guys one of those um, dog parents that let your dog eat at the table with you and eat off your plate? I'm not saying that we do or do not. I'm asking you that question. We have a, a kitchenette and um, we eat there all the time. I have my own chair, Spot, uh, April has hers, Spot has his that's like in between us. And he, he, it's not like he eats there, but he just sits there and watches he us eat. He sits us and watches us eat and then he kind of begs and then sometimes we may or may not give him something. We never give him something at the table. But he, he de he'll eat with us, like he has his kibble on the floor, he'll eat it, come sit up, stand with us. I always or, give uh, him food. Sit at the table with us, but... Mm. I just got a number two. It's one meat, one cheese, lettuce, tomato. I get grilled and raw onions. I don't know if I said that though, but I might have forgotten. Uh, I think you did. I think I remember you saying that. And then I always get extra spread. You can get spread already in your burger. I don't know why I've never done that. It would make things much easier, but I'm always up for a challenge. And mm. then also, are you a ketchup person? Me? Because I can put ketchup on anything. I am not. Not you, babe. I am, actually. I love ketchup. I know he doesn't like ketchup. I love ketchup. I don't. He used to not eat ketchup before me, and now he does. April would eat ketchup on her pasta. No, I wouldn't. No, on your eggs. I'm sorry. You yeah. eat ketchup on your eggs. You know what I do? I don't do I can't. I'm hot sauce. Please. I have a slice of toast with um, jam, and then I put my eggs on top of the slice of toast with jam with ketchup. Mm. Oh my god. Look at that. Does that look great, dude? Does that look fabulous? It's on my face. It's on my face. You should totally go to In N Out right now and then come back and watch this video. Yeah, you should. It's kind of kinda of sad that you're not right now. No, it's not sad. You're on your way there. Go to In N Out, get your little double double, and then watch this video. We're not gonna wait for you because we're starving, but go. So we just saw what? In Insidious. It was my first time seeing Insidious yesterday. Um, no, we saw Insidious 4 on 4th of July with our friends. And then we saw the first one yesterday. Yeah, but I've seen all of them. I mean, I'm a huge horror movie fan. If you watched my Get Ready With Me with Julie, I literally mentioned how I love like horror movies. But you guys should go watch that video if you haven't seen it. But yeah, what were your thoughts? Being new to the franchise. Being new to the franchise. Um, well, having started with 4 and then 1... One just looks so outdated, but yeah, I'm excited for the new one coming out next week. We're going to see the new one on Tuesday with mm -hmm. our friends. And then we're going to see Oppenheimer, and I want to see that on, on in IMAX. But yeah, we saw Indiana Jones. Um, I liked it. I wasn't really like going into it thinking it was going to be the best movie of the franchise. It was more of a movie to close the franchise, close this chapter of Harrison Ford's life, maybe. Mm -hmm. But Cameron told me that he's a curmudgeon. Did I, did I say that right? A curmudgeon in real life. Yeah, you said it right. Curmudgeon. Oh, there's the dog here. There's a dog here, so my dog might freak out. Let's see. Oh, they went the other way. Yeah, so for those of you who don't know, the word of the day is curmudgeon. <laughs> curmudgeon. Curmudgeon? No. Curmudgeon. Curmudgeon. Yeah. Close so the word of the day, well, I want to say it correctly. What is it? Yeah, curmudgeon. Yeah, we can't walk all the way over here. Hi, love. 
Hi, sweet face. So the word of the day is cremungeon, but it basically means an angry old man. And apparently, evidently, we are suspecting. We don't know this for certain. This is not facts. Okay, so word on the street is Harrison Ford is a curmudgeon, but to be honest, he has been followed by paparazzi his entire life. Like, he got into film at like 18, 19, and he was always very handsome. He always had crazy roles. So everyone's always in his business. So I get it. And he's old now, so yeah. Tell the tell our viewers about um, PetSmart. Our viewers? <laughs> Your viewers. <laughs> Should this be like a joint channel? Do you guys like Cameron or is he boring? I'm just kidding. I love you. Aggressive. Kiss these. Like Spot. Kiss. So basically, uh, Spot has an Instagram. It's called The Diary of Spot. And at first, I started it just to keep up with his friends because all of his friends were on social media and they were tagging him. And he was all over social media and he didn't even have an account. So basically, one of his friends, who I follow, which is a pit bull, posted saying that she found out that she could not attend PetSmart doggy daycare or camp because simply it's a pit bull. And I almost didn't believe it, so I went on to the PetSmart website myself and I read the requirements and it literally said, if your dog is this, 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 or this, it can't come. And one of those breeds was an American Staffordshire Terrier, which is what my dog is. And it just really hurt me because I feel like Spa is my son to know that he's being like personally victimized by PetSmart. They are, they don't even know him. They don't even know his family, his parents. They don't know how good of a dog he is, but because he is just who he is, he's not welcomed. And I think that that's really negative and harmful and that needs to change. But it just made me really sad and honestly i like there's this new threads app for instagram so i messaged them and i was like why isn't my dog allowed at your daycare and i put a cute little photo of that face right there and yeah but long story short i like to support other dogs that look like spot or are of similar breeds like the pit breed so we follow a lot of accounts for that reason because i want to uplift those dogs that get overlooked and don't get the attention that they deserve Sorry, that, that was a lot. No. Yeah. My onion fell out of my burger, and I love the onions. That's what she said. So basically, I ended up caving and going to urgent care. Huh. <laughs> yeah? What happened? The reason I went was because um, everyone kept telling me to go. And I feel like I'm a very intuitive person, and nobody knows your body more than you do. And I literally felt it was no big deal. But I went, they did the x-rays, and lo and behold, it wasn't no big deal. Basically tore a ligament, no fracture, no breaks, just a torn ligament, which does take a long time to heal because it's just muscle. I've started doing exercises. I have to do like the ABCs with my foot. I have to do circles 20 times this way. 20 times this way the only thing I'm having trouble walking like it's almost like my ankle has forgotten to do this motion and I literally just can't I'm like I don't know but I'm gonna start trying a little more but the doctor told me not to overdo it she said listen to your body go for it when you're ready if you try to like overdo it you can hurt yourself more piglets like what is guy. it Pippi? This what is you, the real pig. What do you hear? This is filled with salt, love. You can't have. Uh-uh. It's bad for you, my love. And onions. Okay, guys. Well, that concludes the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see another mukbang with Cameron or another video with him, let me know. Understand if you don't want to. That's fine. It's what my the channel. Hell? <clears throat> but yeah, it was fun chatting with you. I hope you got your in and out, girl. Are you there? Are you in line still? And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.